Good morning, Dominic Nation. How are you guys doing? Haven't vlogged since the football trip to Pittsburgh. Um, a bunch of things that have happened since then. Uh, I just wanted to say that on the way back from Pittsburgh, we stopped uh, in Buffalo at the original Anchor Bar. Uh, and I've been there once before and did a video there. Um, but uh, we all wanted to stop there and have wings and beers. And I didn't vlog that. That was just our own time. Uh, but the boys and I had an amazing time in Pittsburgh. Loved it. Can't wait for the next football trip. Uh, but since then, what are some of the things that have been happening? Get, get, you, get you guys caught up on. Um, I got uh, fitted for braces or I guess the Invisalign because my teeth are crooked. Uh, when I was a teenager or when I was a little kid, I had really bad teeth, had braces, uh, and just one of those typical teenage things, didn't wear the retainers like I should have worn the retainers um, for like, I don't know, I guess you're supposed to wear them for like two years off and on, I guess maybe just a at bedtime, I just didn't do it and I was just being a typical stubborn teenager and thinking my teeth were all perfectly straight and everything's going to be fine and then the wisdom teeth came in and crushed everything, destroyed my teeth, so I finally have bit the bullet and said, that's it, I'm getting braces. Uh, but I didn't want the steel braces. They're supposed to be invisible braces or like clear braces, didn't want them. Uh, but the Invisalign seems to be the best thing for me. And uh, I can take it out when I do food reviews and then put them right back in. You're supposed to wear them for at least 22 hours a day, uh, only taking them out for when you eat. After getting fitted for braces, I went car shopping because the, the Suzuki is getting old it's on its way out after I repair the Suzuki I'm going to give it to Ben but he can't have it until probably uh April because uh his insurance remember the car accident he had about three years ago uh it's made the insurance go up and the longer we don't have four licensed vehicles on the road uh the better the cheaper it is so right now he's an occasional driver and if I insure the Suzuki again uh, right now it's got like fire and theft on it if I fully insure it then the the insurance goes uh, through the roof so we're not going to do that for now right now we're just concentrating on getting Ben's education paid for and that's more important right now than a car so we parked the Suzuki this is my new car it is the VW Tiguan <clears throat> we also did a cooking review of the Cheetos thing that did really well the second one we just did didn't do very well I'm not sure why uh, and then I went up to the cottage for the weekend, hung out with my mom and sister and her or my niece. Uh, just looking through pictures, it's really helping me uh, remember what I did uh, in order. And then I did the, the ghost pepper burrito, which launched today. And I think that's a bit. Oh, my cousin's kid turned one. So we went to their house and celebrated the birthday. The whole family was there. It was a lot of cool fun. Lots of fun, that's what I'm saying, lots of fun. So this is the car, people, look. Check this out, isn't this not the coolest thing? Ah, oh, it's, it's the best car I've ever owned in my whole life. And uh, it's got a lot of technology. It's got um, adaptive cruise control, and it's also got uh, driver assist, so this will actually drive down the road without you having to touch the steering wheel. But of course you have to touch the steering wheel because it's against a lot to drive without touching the steering wheel. But if you are driving and you're just for whatever reason decide you're not paying attention, it'll actually kind of, the steering wheel will actually nudge you back on uh, and keep you in the lane, which is really, really cool. Uh, when you're backing up, it's got cameras and underneath these uh, rear view mirrors. Uh, looking straight down so when you're parking you can actually see the lines when you're parking uh, let's just turn it on it's a push start we got push start there's no key I think I think oh uh, you put the key to that there is a key on the fob but uh, yeah so it's got lots of really cool I oh I turned this off that's why so we've got the radio, we've got navigation system, we've got apps. If I plug my phone in, all my apps come up here, Waze, uh, all my music and all that stuff. And, and all this stuff can be controlled by all these buttons on the steering wheel. Um, what are some of the other really cool features? Uh, let's shut this off quickly. Oh, I've got uh, heated steering wheel, heated seats. Uh, power windows, power mirrors, when the car shuts off, the mirrors fold in, automatic fold. 
the windshield wipers actually come on when it rains uh, if you have it up one. So if you have it up like that, it'll stay like this. As soon as the windshield gets wet, as soon as this sensor up here uh, feels water on it or sees water on it, I'm not sure exactly how it works, it will turn the um, windshield wipers on. There's a sensor right there somewhere, either the top or the bottom. Uh, so this is the Tiguan. I got the upgraded wheels disc brakes all the way around don't look forward to replacing these wheels uh, when I need new tires uh, I bought these at the last second I also tinted these windows for the food reviews these were already tinted it's dirty right now because it rained there's the back end it's all-wheel drive this will only open if the key is close to it. If I didn't have my key on me, I wouldn't be able to get in there, so other people can't get in there unless they pried it open with a screwdriver. And that's the front end. Pretty car. Very nice. Got to hit a bug. <laughs> I was going to clean it before I did the, uh, the full review of this. The, the lights actually turn when the wheel turns, so when you're turning a corner, an extra light it's all LED very cool um, another cool feature is I can swipe my foot along the bottom and it will open that's where I'm gonna keep all my stuff just returning a toy that I bought because we bought something else instead so this will be when I bring all these bags out uh, to I, before I had to put them down, press the button on the back of the Suzuki, it would open up. I could dump all my stuff in there, and then I'd have to shut it. Uh, but now I can just swipe my foot; it'll open with like all the bags in my hand. Don't have to put them down. And it's got two buttons on this car. One will shut it, and one is a delayed. I think it's a 40-second delay. So I could press that, grab all my stuff, and as I walk away from it, it will shut which is really really cool and handy carol will be uh oh yeah i guess i should show you the seats carol's going to be using this car on the weekend so she's going she's all excited and can't wait for it uh it's got split seating of uh, power windows of course i got the winter mats in right now i've got the usb 12 volt people can control their own air back here uh, it's got this drink holder in the middle. It's a two, so this whole section will come down, or just that seat will come down. I guess if you pull this thing, there you go. And so it's quite a lot of room. My bike will be able to fit in here really easily. When I'm going to Paul's house, ugh, not easy to push back, obviously. But uh, yeah, what else? What else, people? Uh, the steering wheel is still that switch that you have to switch to make it go up and down or forward and back. Uh, but it does have power seat and I can have three settings. And also with the fob in my front pocket, with this fob, this fob is Ken. Uh, so the other fob is going to be Carol. So when you get to the car, the, seating, the settings that you put in your seat are programmed for me. So when I come to the car, open the car with this fob, it says, oh, hello, Ken. Ken's in the car and puts the seat to the settings that I like. Um, or I can press one, two, or three if I had three different settings for you know, driving downtown Toronto or as, as opposed to driving up to the college. You want to relax a little bit more and you can have the seat in a different configuration. Uh, and then you can program those in, which is really cool. Um, this also has two USB ports and then an auxiliary port. Like I said, it's got the heated steering wheel and seat. Uh, of course you can have, this person can control their, um, temperature and I can control mine separately or I can sync them. Right now they're synced. Uh, like I said, there's a navigation feature and then you can also make the nav come over to here. Let's see if I can do this takes a while to learn all this stuff I think I got it so I'll have to go to navigation and then press view so I could have the map here with my instruments or I can actually shut my instruments off 
I believe, and hit the view, and the whole thing turns into a map. Uh, but I really like Waze, so I just uh, plug my phone in, and uh, CarPlay is on now. So I can shut my phone off and just put it aside. So it shows all my apps. Uh, I can hit phone and phone people. You can scroll. You can also use the voice activated stuff. Uh, then I can have to go, go to my music. That's all my playlists and everything that are on my phone. I can go to Waze and it'll tell me where I am and she will do all the same things Waze does, which is great. It tells you where all the traffic is and tries to get you to where you want to go faster. And again, there's still more things I'm learning about. Here's car. Like I said, it knows that Ken's in the car, uh, but I can add a whole bunch of stuff to this. Um, the status of the vehicle and again i'm still learning all that stuff so a lot of cool technology in this car oh yeah this is the other feature i forgot to tell you so it's a huge sunroof uh and i believe if i hit this let's just open the sunroof first this little thing comes up here and that's as far as the sunroof goes hey uh, and then we can close it. And these are your lights, LED lights, one for me, one for somebody else. And then this is the covering and you can stop it wherever you want it. If you want to stop it like halfway, you just press the back button and then it'll stop. And then I could go back if I wanted, stop, go forward to whatever you Whatever your heart desires, if you want a little privacy and don't want airplanes looking in on you. But I like when it, I like it open all the time. That's my favorite. The best thing about this is it's going to let light into the car, so uh, there won't be like a dark back seat anymore uh, in my in my food reviews, unless of course I'm shooting at nighttime. But again, they have their own lights in the back. But it is the coolest car I think I have ever owned, and I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. Talk to you in the next vlog. See ya.